Quat. Hello. So this is a, a weird bit of code that was sent in by Lucy on my Discord. Um, so let's walk through it. I'm going to show you the weird code that they that they posted, which was broke broke my brain. Um, then I'm going to explain why it happens and uh, give some advice at the end. Uh, but yeah, today we're working in JavaScript. And uh, the little bit of code involves setting up a regular expression. It can be any regular expression, so we're just going to use a very, very simple one. Uh, let reg, uh, well, they specifically did r, let r equals a regular expression that matches uh, underscore. Now, weird thing about the node REPL, um, if you just press enter here, it gives you syntax error. I don't really know what's up with that. Um, so you have to, I think you forcibly have to put a semicolon here. Otherwise, it doesn't work out. But that's not the WAT for today. The WAT for today is how this regular expression performs. So this should match an underscore. And if we do r.test, which is the regex.prototype.test function, uh, returns true or false if a uh, regular expression matches a string. So if you do r.test on the underscore string, of course, this should be true. And it is, because uh, it matches, you know, underscore matches an underscore. But if you put a space here, <laughs> it doesn't match, <laughs> which is weird. Uh, it's also consistent. So if I go back up here and do that and do this again, you'll see it is still true and false. This was just so mind-bogglingly confusing to me. Like, in what world does a space character affect how the code runs? Because usually white space is just... Kind of nothing. And it turns out the space was mostly just a misleading um, bit here. So if I if I actually just run the underscore one, you'll see that it toggles between true and false here. So what's actually happening, um, and I eventually found this by scrolling further down in here, because it's, <laughs> you know someone stumbled on it when there's a huge giant section that explains what's going on here. Uh, but it turns out the surprising behavior comes entirely from using the global flag in this regular expression. And so what this does is it makes the regular expression stateful. And whenever you run test on this regular expression, it stores the end position of the match. So when we ran test here, it matched this string and then it set the position right after that underscore. And so the next search starts from here onwards. And since it's you know at the end of the string, it's obviously not going to match here. So that's how this works. Now, the really weird thing is this actually works across different strings. It doesn't keep track of what the string is. It could be any string at all. Um, so if we do r dot test, I don't know, a bunch of a's and then an underscore. Um, oh, also, in every time, anytime it returns false, it's going to reset back to the beginning. Um, so if we match this string here, you'll see that that matches as true. Uh, and then if we were to match, you know, some unrelated but shorter string, this is always going to be false uh, because this position right here is way past the end of this string, which is just <laughs> such such a weird behavior. Um, I'm I'm used to basically every other programming language where regular expressions aren't stateful; they're immutable uh, objects, and you use flags and positioning as variables in the the testing functions. But I guess JavaScript is a little bit different. Um, one other thing, so the the word of advice here is. I guess basically don't assign regular expression objects that have the global flag because uh, this seems like a really, really easy way to shoot yourself in the foot. Um, but anyway, hopefully this was interesting. If you have other weird stuff to show me, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.